Here are assembly guidelines for cranes fitted with crawler self-assembly cylinders. With the crane mast in the vertical position, release the holding lever for the crawler assembly cylinder fitted. To ensure stability, fit the base car body weights to the front and rear of the base machine. Insert pins securely and also fit the holding pins. Do not load the 10-ton car body weights until the right and left crawlers are attached and the translifters stowed. Attach the hanger brackets, shackles and slings used to suspend the crawler from its shoes to the crawler assembly cylinder. The lifting points are shown in the instruction manual, but slight variations may occur, so adjust as appropriate. Tilt the cabin to avoid the risk of interference with the crawler. Lift the crawler with the cylinder, align it front and rear with the mast, and align the pinholes. Everything to this point is carried out by starting the engine and using control levers and switches in the cabin. Stop the engine in the cabin and restart it using the remote controller. Use the switch on the remote controller to insert the crawler connecting pins and then secure them with holding or locking pins. Connect up the hydraulic hoses for the propel motor. When connecting the hose on the front side of the machine, also connect the electrical cable to power the lower roller auto greaser. After attaching both crawlers, retract the lower translifter cylinders to lower the base machine to the ground. Stow the floats in the base car body weights. 